Okay, question three. So why is directly proportional to half x? Well, I'm going to do the whole thing. Starting from the beginning. Okay, so find an equation connecting x and y. Uh, first step. Now this is directly proportional. So for three a, y equals to k half x squared plus five. Right, and then we need to substitute x y equals to 14 x equals to 2 because we want to find k okay step one always trying to find k so uh, 14 equals to k uh, 2 squared plus 5 now 2 squared is 4 so half times 4 is 2 so 2 plus 5 equals to 7 Therefore, k equals to 2. Do you get k equal to 2? For the equation, yeah. right? So, therefore, equation is y equals to 2 half x squared plus 5. Okay, that's part A. Part B, we do here. Find the value of y when x equals to 5. Uh, just substitute x equals to 5 so we get y equals to uh, uh, 5 square plus 5 2 uh, 5 square is 25 so half of 25 is, half of is 12.5 plus 5 2 times of 17.5 so that is 35. Okay, that's part B. Uh, for part C, calculate the values of x when y equals to 26. So I need more space. y equals to 26. Okay, so y equals to 26 for part C. 26 equals to 2 half x squared plus 5. Okay, this is why you substitute 26. Okay, so you got your half <coughs> inside the bracket. Now, first thing is uh, you want to get rid of the 2. How to get rid of the 2 here? You divide by 2. Both sides divide by 2. So you get 13 equals to half x squared plus 5. Next, this 5, the 5 must shift to the left. So 13. Take away 5 equals to half x squared. Okay. Continue from. I continue here. Sorry. Okay, so 13 take away 5. It's 13 take away 5. 8 equals to half x squared. Now, next you have a half. You have to multiply by 2 both sides. So times 2, Six. times 2. Okay. Six. Yeah, 16 equals to x squared. Because half times 2 equals to 1. Eh? So 16 equals to x squared. Uh, after that, now because 16 equals to x squared, x is definitely equals to square root 16. Dude, there are two answers. Plus 4 or minus 4. Okay? Two answers. Positive 4 or negative 4? Both are acceptable. Okay, this is question number 3. Any question? Okay, this is not too difficult, this question. It's okay. I don't know. Ah, this is, this is plus minus. Plus or minus 4. Okay, very common question like this. Alright. Uh, any question? No? Okay, so the good thing of uh, B recording is you can look at it again later. <coughs> it won't be lost, huh? It's like there, so you can look at it uh, later on even if you want to. Okay, uh, let me go through the first few questions until question three, it's question one onwards. So here, part one, quite easy. 
Right, express 4.9, correct to the nearest integer. So the nearest integer, you look at the 4. Right, so the answer is just 5. Okay, so I have 5. So two decimal places, second decimal place is here. You look at the third guy, which is a 5. So it's just 4.91. Oops, is it there? Yeah. Okay, two decimal places, 4.91. Okay, next. Four significant figure. Ah, so where is the fourth significant figure? So this, the four is the first one, second one, third and fourth. So the number five, the number five is the fourth significant figure. So you look at the number three. So this is three. Uh, do you need to change the five to six? Don't need, right? Because it's less than five. So the answer is just four point nine zero five. Okay. Any problem? No. Okay. Good. Next one. Okay. Next is the number pattern. So write down the eighth line in the pattern. Let's see what is the pattern all about. Okay, this is the first line. So number one, two, three. Okay, we see a one, two, three then. Uh, let me zoom bigger. Zoom bigger. Okay, you see a one, two, three over there. So definitely my eight my eight line uh, is one over eight. Something equals one over eight. Next here has got to be a two. This is a two. So you see the first line, first line is a 1, 2, 3. Second line is 2, 3, 4. Third line is 3, 4, 5. Now, 8th line must be 8, uh, eight times 9 times 10. Right, so we deduce 1 by 1. Then how about the next one? It is definitely a minus. Minus. So let's observe the first, uh, the first, first pattern. So we get 2 over 2, 2 over 2, second pattern, okay, anyway you just look at the denominator, right, it's 1, 2, 3, then this is 2, 3, 4, this is 3, 4, 5, it's the same as the first one, so it's definitely 1 over 8 minus 2, 9, plus 1 over 10. Uh, is that okay? Right, you just follow the pattern. So that's the pattern for the 8 line. Then, find the value of 1 over 30 minus 2 over 31 plus 1 over 32. Now, which line do you think this is? Yeah, it's the 30th line, okay? So if this is the 30th line, you should follow the, the pattern. You should follow the pattern. So I got 1 over 30th minus 2 over 31st plus 1 over 32. This should give me, this should be equal to what? You look at the pattern on the top. This should be equal to 2 over 30 times 31 times 32 okay and what is that equal to uh, you can actually multiply out 30. yeah yeah then. Okay. You just get the answer. So that's the answer. 1 over 14880. Okay, just by looking at the pattern. Okay, so maybe you can continue. Yeah. You are learning simultaneous equation. Okay, you can. I think there are some simultaneous equation, so you can try. Okay, you can try. Do you do do you know how to do that? Oh no idea. Okay. Let me try and find, alright? Let's find some simultaneous questions for you.